Good morning to you. Welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Calkine Studios in Sydney. The Australian share market is expected to open lower today. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.1% fall. Yesterday, the share market closed 0.11% higher at 7,077. In business news from this morning, Strike Energy has informed Talon that the Whaley gas field has started export of sales gas into the Palmelia gas pipeline. The ramp-up of production rates is expected to occur over the coming week before firm sales deliveries start at the beginning of October. The sales gas is being sold into Santos Gas Sales Agreement under the commissioning provisions and Strike expects to start firm gas sales to Santos in the next coming few weeks. Blackstone Minerals is pleased to announce that the Vietnamese Ministry of Natural Resources and Energy has approved the company's exploration and reserve report for the Tarkoa nickel mine. This is a significant milestone in the permitting and licensing of Blackstone's projects in northern Vietnam, most importantly allowing the company to progress the Ban Phuc Ban Koa King Snake and Bang Chang mining lease license applications. The approval and the inclusion of proposed exploration areas in the Natural Mineral Master Plan earlier this year also enables the company to advance new nickel sulfide targets and grow the resources and reserves within the Tarkar Dome immediately adjacent to the proposed mining operations. Suncorp Group CEO Steve Johnson has today announced that Suncorp Bank CEO Clive Van Horen will depart Suncorp on the 24th of December. Mr. Van Horen, who has led the bank since joining Suncorp in August 2020, is leaving to pursue an opportunity in the non-bank financial services sector. Suncorp Group CEO Steve Johnson said Clive had played a key role in delivering on the bank's strategic plan to improve performance over the past three years and thanked him for his contribution. Mr. Van Horen will stay as CEO of Suncorp Bank until the end of the year to help facilitate a smooth handover. Let's take a break here. I'll be back very soon with more news set to affect your trading day. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Calkine Media's growing platform, Calkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Calkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guestteam at calkine.com.au. Welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel. The S&P 500 rose 0.4%. The Nasdaq Composite closed higher by 0.45%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average added 0.13%. European markets closed lower. London's FTSE fell 0.78%. Frankfurt lost 0.98%. And Paris closed 0.85% lower. Looking at Asian markets, Tokyo's Nikkei added 0.85%. Hong Kong's Hang Seng dropped 1.82%, while China's Shanghai Composite closed 0.54% lower. That's the latest from the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.